What's up guys? So today was the first day of my engineering internship at McBain. I'm going to talk about my first impressions of the job, what I did and what I will be doing in the future. And then I'm going to talk a little bit about the channel. So um, let's get to it. Mike Baines is a leading building and construction consultancy. So they have worked on the Shell Center, the Harbour Central in Canary Wharf, the NHA's Foundation Trust, they've worked on the Olympic Park Village and the O2 Hotel and many other projects. Their first impressions uh, were, 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 pretty, were pretty good. This building was in Moorgate behind Liverpool Street in London, if you guys are from London. Um, and it was really nice. I walked in, it was like the branding was really good. It was like orange and black and uh, they had these sort of pillars. I was assigned a sort of mentor or guy. I won't tell you his name because I feel like I shouldn't. I don't know. But he basically sort of gave me a little tour of the building. I got a key card to use the toilet. Really funny, it didn't work, so I got stuck in the toilet. <laughs> I put my key card in and it would flash, but it wouldn't open. So I had to knock. Um, until somebody heard me and it was really embarrassing because my first my first hour at the internship and I couldn't get out of the toilet. <laughs> As I was walking around the building, I was introduced to different people. I think it was um, the head of engineering or different types of people that uh, were very big in McBain's. I made friends with the people around my table. That was pretty cool. Uh, I sat down on my PC, I was logged in, I had my own email. It was really cool because I sent an email to myself. I wrote whatever, but at the end of it I had a signature that said something like trainee engineer and then a bunch of stuff that looked really cool with a logo and I, I felt really professional. The first thing that I actually had to do was read this manual that was made as like a sort of dummy's guide to a project that they were doing. And the project is basically um, the use... Um, I, I didn't actually know this, but buildings in London, they use renewable energy to heat the, heat the place up. So what they do is they have these pipes that go to an aquifer where heat is extracted into heat pumps to heat the actual building itself. And the same for cooling, which is really cool. And it makes the, the actual project very sustainable. Oh, I should have mentioned, McBain's is all about sustainability. They designed the buildings with the intention to fill, fulfill BREAM, which stands for Building Research Establishment Environmental Assessment Method which is sort of an assessment method for making buildings as sustainable as possible to last a long time. The first thing that I did was read that manual, uh, get to know the project, and then I, a couple of hours later, I went to, the me to a meeting where I was sort of taught about an exchanger that wasn't working, some sort of the updates on a project, which is really interesting. It was just to, just to walk away, so I got to be on site. And then I went back in, I got to use a CAD program called Autodesk AutoCAD, because I'll be using it to design some rooms. I was given massive CAD drawings, for a project that is about to start. So this project has not even started yet. So what happens is like an architect usually plans out a building, designs it however they want to, whilst taking into account regulations and specifications from like the council about sustainability, about environmental stuff, how many cars you can have in a car park and stuff like that. Then I read a report on it as to what it's, what it's gonna be like. Uh, it was really cool because basically they're, they're taking a very small area in Southwark and they are going to sort of renovate it, include a tower, so include shopping centers, a basement and residential. And that was to prepare me to go to a meeting where McBain's will consult on the project. But they were very nice, they actually paid for my lunch just for that day, so I was really, really happy. The meeting itself, at first it was very interesting because the lady was sort of talking about the bits and bobs of the plan, and then the engineers would be like, okay, cool, what about this, what about that? I actually got lost in the lingo so much because there was so much that I didn't really know what, what they were talking about. I was like, what the fuck? I didn't say anything, but I was sort of seeing what the thought process were. But for a first for a first day out of the job, it was, it was really, really fun. In terms of what I had to wear, I just, I went in overdressed. So I had a shirt, tie, suit, really nice shoes. I was kitted out. And when I got there, they didn't have a tie. Some of them really didn't even have a blazer. It was, it was very relaxed. It was in, everybody was laughing, everybody was smiling. I really expected people to sort of be really old over the age of 50 and I have been there for a long time but uh, there was quite a few young people some of them were like 30s and early late 20s but for my first day I had a really good time I didn't get lost a, a, a lot in technical lingo but I guess I'll find out a little bit more the more I get to know the, the company the more I get to actually do some work on it so in terms of the channel welcome to engineering better uh, um, what I want to do with this channel is just Post some stuff about uh, engineering, maybe teach you guys about some stuff that I have learned throughout my career. I'm a third year mechanical engineer, uh, I'm going to my, my fourth year next year. I got this internship for two months, so I finished in September. Uh, I'll probably make another video talking about my, my experience. 
I'll be making some tutorials on SolidWorks, which is the platform that I use for CAD. Um, for example, I'm going to show you how to make something like this, which is something I 3D printed. Really, really cool. If I turn this, it eventually turns. Like it's a 3D printed valve that I use for my third year project. Yeah, stay tuned. Subscribe if you want. Like this video. Dislike it if you disliked it. Leave a comment if you want to see some more stuff. Um, I feel like a YouTuber because this is my first actual vlog. But yeah, thanks for listening, guys. Peace out.